What's up everybody? I'm back with another reaction video today. As of always, it's your boy Jerry Will24. And as you see, I went back to my old format because green screens be breaking this shit. Bro, I think I only had it for a month. Tops. A month and a half, maybe, I don't know, but I'm back. You gotta go back to what you know, I guess. The show must go on. That shit crazy though. I'm gonna miss it though. I'm probably gonna get another one in the future for sure. <laughs> I was fucking with it. I'm pretty sure y'all was fucking with it too, but it is what it is. You just got to go back to what you know. But the reaction video is definitely going to keep going. Can't stop that. You feel what I'm saying? So what I'm going to react to today is Archive 81, a show on Netflix that dropped in dropped in, on January, January 14th. Yeah, January 14th, the show had dropped. Um, I never heard of it until my girl showed me, uh, showed me the show. And... Seemed pretty interesting. We started watching together and she got too scared and she quit watching it. Soft ass. But I kept going, you feel what I'm saying? Because I ain't scared. This show not even scary to be honest. It had some like little scenes, but it wasn't like too scary. I don't know. I did it. it wasn't scary to me, but I kept going with it and I pretty much enjoyed it. It's a supernatural thriller. That's the category that I was put in, so <clears throat> it wasn't really considered horror. I mean it got some shit, but not too crazy. Oh man, I wish I could show y'all that scene. Probably am to be honest, but I'm gonna give you a little insight on the show. So the show is basically about a video archivist named Dan, and he is hired to clean these tapes, or basically investigate these tapes that were burned in a fire back in 1994. And he gets $100,000 if he completes the job. He must stay in the house and do it as well. Like he can't go nowhere. I don't know if he's supposed to have contact, but he does contact people. He is in there. He gets paid a hundred thousand just to do that job. I don't know what I'm doing with my life, but YouTube definitely is not paying me a hundred thousand right now. So I need to find out how to become a video archivist because what the fudge? YouTube takes too long. A hundred thousand just to do that? That's easy, man. I would have been did that. Yeah, I gotta look into that. But anyways, but on these tapes there are some secret things that are supposed to be left behind. Because the fire happened for a reason. The fire definitely happened for a reason and it's just some things on his tapes that leads Dan to, he's doing his job, but he's finding some stuff that should have been left behind, okay? Back in 1904, there's a lady named Melanie Her. She is trying to find her mother who just disappeared but she doesn't think, I don't know, she did she think she was dead? I don't know, she's just looking for her mother. So she goes to an apartment where her mother was last heard of or lived at, and at this hotel, not this hotel, I'm sorry, apartments, at the apartments, there are some strange things going on. First of all, Melody, she was nosy, she was a nosy, okay? Typical female, being nosy. She's going to every door asking about her mother. Well, I guess that's not nosy, she's just trying to find her mom, so that's not nosy. Still, women still are nosy, that's a known fact. She's knocking on every door trying to find her mother who could possibly be dead, okay? But she's knocking on every door and she runs into people and these people are very strange and mm, she should have left it alone, to be honest. But the show is definitely good and um, very good. And when she's knocking on the door talking to these people, she finds a cult, finds that there's a cult of people who has a ritual and just weird shit going on, the mold thing, it's just, it's a lot going on in this apartment, okay? It gave me, um, wasn't there a movie or a show called like Apartment B, something like that? <clears throat> it gives me that type of vibe, you feel what I'm saying? So definitely a good show, if you haven't seen it, you should definitely check it out. Let me see if I can find this scene for y'all actually, because I'm gonna show y'all one scene that was crazy. Crazy, crazy lady there who was able to toss the ghost. I'm sure this one scene. She uh no peeling things. Yes. This shit was like nasty. I might not be able to show it. I go low it. There's some I'm gonna be able to find that scene. Ca 
Tagaloa is power. That's the thing that the cult, they worship this creature and it's in another realm and they, I can't, I can't find it, dang. I'm not gonna be able to find it for you, I'm sorry about that, but. Basically, the one scene, this lady, she is able to talk to ghosts and they're all at the table. You know, Mel, she's getting deeper and deeper to finding out more things and she's just so nosy. She keeps going back to these people and there, there's this one lady who's able to talk to spirits and she becomes possessive. She actually is able to talk to Dan through, through the lady, through Melody, okay? It sounds weird, but if you're watching, you know what I'm talking about. You just gotta watch the show. The lady like peels her skin off. I don't know why she did it, but she, like, she was possessed. She started to peel her skin off and ends up in the hospital. I just want to show y'all scene because that was probably like you know, one of the scariest scenes, I guess. Now, after that, my girl didn't watch it no more, but she starts to spill her skin off and ends up in the hospital, and it just shows that they are weird. They are weird. So, I don't want to tell too much no about it. I kind of, mm, I ain't got that much to say, to be honest. Yeah, I just wanted to show y'all that, but I can't show you. God dang, it's on Netflix. So, you haven't watched the show, man, watch it, okay? The rating on the show is probably 7.5 out of 10. I can very agree with that one, 7.5 out of 10. Definitely a good show. There's definitely gonna be a season two as well because of the ending. The ending was it the ending was pretty good. So I know there's gonna be a season two. I'm definitely gonna probably gonna be a year maybe. Mm, yeah, probably gonna take a year to get back to that. So in a year I'm gonna be back on the show and see where I take it at. I appreciate y'all being here as usual, man. I can't believe that my green screen boat, so I had to go back to this format. I don't know how long I'm gonna be down bad with this goddamn green screen, but you gotta go back to what you know. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate y'all being here. Make sure you subscribe and like. I'm gonna keep reacting to some other stuff. I got my other channel on Jerry World 24 with my comedy skits. And we're just gonna keep doing it, baby.